Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 994. Hey, if you want to download the sourcebook 994 to 996, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we have a column of numbers. And we need to look through each one of the digits and find the min. So this should be a 4. This one should be a 4. This one should be a 1. This one should be a 0. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do is look at a formula element that can look at some characters and extract them all as individual items so we can then do something to those individual items. Let's start by equal, and I'm going to make a text formula in double quotes, one colon, and double quote, join symbol, shift 7, the ampersand, and I'm going to say the length of this. Now, the len function will say, hey, there's six characters there. When we get down here, this will be two. So this is joining one colon and the uh, variable number. Control Enter, that's just a text string, right? Now, to get an array of numbers from 1 to 6, because we're going to end up using the mid function on each one of these numbers to extract all the digits. But we need an array from 1 to 6, from 1 to 2, from 1 to 4, saying, hey, start number 1, 2, 3, 4. Extract each one of them. So this is text. I'm going to F2. From text that represents a reference, we can use the indirect function. And all it does is it takes Ref, uh, reference that's text and converts it back to a reference. Now, right now, if I Control Enter, I'm going to get a circular reference. And the reason why is because that reference is row 1, it, or the reference would be row 1 to row 6. And this cell is in that reference, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. Now, here we're getting a circular reference, but here we're not. We're getting a value error because 1 to 2, those are, that's these two rows here. So uh, we get different results here. But no problem. We don't want that anyway. What we want is to convert. And by the way, if I highlight this and hit the F9 key to see what's going on, you can't uh, have more than 8,192 characters. And guess what? If I'm asking for row 1 to 6, that's a lot of cells, way more than the formula uh, than we can evaluate and look at in a formula. So I'm going to wrap row around that reference, because indirect is delivering a reference to row. Now right there, reference. It simply will look at any cell reference or range and say what row there is. Now we're giving it uh, an array of values, uh, all of the cells between uh, rows 1 and 6. So it's going to report the numbers 1 to 6. So if I highlight this and hit the F9 key, boom, there it is. Control Z. If I enter this and copy it down, it's just going to show me 1, the first item each set in each cell, because you can't display multiple items. But guess what? Now I can put this inside of the mid. And I could say, hey, get the text, comma, and there's our starting number. Now, this is a uh, function argument array operation, because that start number is expecting a single item, right? But we're giving it F9, a bunch of items. So if we give it six numbers, that means the mid is, we're instructing the mid to extract six different items, all with the starting position of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, comma, and the numbers, I want one character each time I extract. Now, again, this is going to deliver. This is an array operation. It's going to deliver an array of values. F9, we can see there are our values. Now, notice those are in um, numbers are in double quotes. Control Z, mid always spits out text, but we need them actually as numbers because the formula won't work unless they're numbers. So I'm going to do some math operation. Anytime you do a math operation on numbers that are text, it converts them back to numbers. So now if I highlight this and hit F9, that's our trick to get all of the numbers. We, in essence, have extracted each individual number. Control Z, Control Shift Enter, uh, double click and send it down. You know, you could come here and see that this is delivering F9, 4, and 6. Escape. Now I can simply wrap the uh, min function. Now, if you, this is an array operation. Um, there's a couple array operations. There's one inside there. We're giving it a bunch of values, and it's spitting out. Row is spitting out a bunch of values. Also, the start number has a bunch of values. So these are function argument array operations. Right now, if I hit uh, Control Enter and copy it down, it's incorrectly reporting. Uh, 
the first item. So it's 64141. However, we have to tell Excel that this is an array formula, so we have to use Control Shift and Enter. Control Shift Enter is us telling Excel this is an array formula. We need you to make an array calculation. Notice the curly brackets up in the formula bar. That's Excel telling you it understood this is an array formula. And now I can double click and send this down. And boom, it is finding the min digit uh, amongst these uh, numbers. Remember, 1095, it found the 0. Now, this is the min function. and Everything right there is an array operation, copy, or there's a couple array operations in there. Because min, min's number one argument can't innately handle array operations, we had to do Control Shift Enter. Escape. There's a, a, a number of functions, sum product, lookup, aggregate, and index that can handle array operations without Control Shift Enter. So I'm going to use the aggregate. Now, this is only available in Excel 2010 or later. And notice the first argument says, hey, you tell me which function. Now, I, I would like to select min, because that's what I'm trying to do. But guess what? Functions 1 to 13 do not make array calculations. It's only 14 to 19. No problem. I need min. I'm going to use 15, which is small. And then I'll say, hey, get which small? The first one. So comma. I don't need to ignore anything here because our array is just spitting out numbers. It's not like we have subtotals or errors. So I'm going to say 4, comma. And there's our array, Control V. Min, when we put this thing inside of min, it required Control Shift Enter. But that argument array, it can handle array calculations. So innately, this argument can handle array calculations. Comma, and then K. Because I want min, I'm going to put 1. Control Enter. I didn't Control Shift Enter. There's no curly brackets. And double click and send it down. It calculates perfectly. All right. Calculating the min digit from a number in a cell. We'll see you next trick. Hey, today is uh, May 23, 2013. I just finished editing. Uh, the book, Control Shift Enter. Uh, so next month in June 2013, uh, my book about array formulas should be coming out. All right, see you next video.